thermal energy. In addition to being transformed, energy can be transferred from one object to another. Take the example of a hot fudge sundae. The hot fudge has particles that are excited and moving fast, having a high thermal energy. In contrast, the ice cream particles are slower, having a lower thermal energy as the hot fudge touches the ice cream. Its heat, or thermal energy, starts flowing into the ice cream. That's why the hot fudge cools down and the ice cream starts melting. The thermal energy from the fudge is trying to spread out and share its warmth with the ice cream until thermal equilibrium is reached. Temperature versus thermal energy. Temperature measures how hot or cold something is. When something feels hot, the particles are moving fast. When something feels cold, the particles are moving slower. Thermal energy is the total energy of all these moving particles combined. So, suppose you have a big container of water and a small cup of water at the same temperature. In that case, the big container has more thermal energy because it has more water particles moving around, even though both are equally hot or cold. Thermal energy transfer. Thermal energy naturally flows from warmer to cooler objects. This flow occurs until thermal equilibrium is reached, where both objects have the same temperature, and no further net heat transfer occurs. Examples of thermal energy flow. Hot coffee cooling down. Imagine a cup of hot coffee left in a room. The coffee will gradually cool as thermal energy flows from the hot coffee, which has a higher temperature, to the cooler room, having a lower temperature until it eventually reaches the same temperature. Heating a room, when you turn on a heater in a cold room, the thermal energy transfers from the heater to the room air, raising the room's temperature. Touching a cold object, if you touch a cold metal surface with your hand, you feel the sensation of coldness. This is because thermal energy flows from your warmer hand to the cooler metal object until it reaches an equilibrium temperature. Cooling drinks in a fridge. Place warm drinks in a refrigerator. The thermal energy transfers from the drinks to the refrigerator's interior to the drinks cooling down over time. Melting ice. If you place an ice cube at room temperature, it will melt as thermal energy from the surroundings flows into the ice until the ice reaches the same temperature as its surroundings. In summary, these examples illustrate that thermal energy naturally moves from hotter objects to cooler objects. The energy will continue to transfer from one object to another until thermal equilibrium is reached.